The milkweed beetle has the same colors as the monarch butterfly. I guess this is supposed to tell predators like me that they both taste really bad. That monarch butterfly is wearing the same colors we see on the scariest night of the year. Here's another flyer with Halloween colors, telling predators that it would make a yucky meal. Yep, that tiger moth might as well be carrying a sign saying, Don't eat me! That's one mosquito-eating machine. That dragonfly's even got a basket he makes with his legs, so he can carry his lunch. I've heard of eating on the run. This fellow eats on the fly. If I was on a track and field team, I'd want a grasshopper like this one to jump the long jump for my team. It can leap more than 200 times its own length. That Argiope spider just wrapped up a grasshopper to save it for dinner. So that's who invented sandwich bags. Each kind of grasshopper has its own song, which it uses to attract females of the same kind. Not my kind of music, but if grasshopper girls like it. One bug you really want to identify right away is the stink bug. Just look for the triangle on its back. And then get out of there before things really start to stink. Blue jacket females sting you for no good reason. And they fly so fast and... Come to think of it, maybe I should keep my distance. There's more to the meadow than meets the eye. Look around. Give adventure a try. The crab spider can change its color to match any flower. But it takes 24 hours for the spider to change. It takes Miss Frizzle two seconds to change us into anything she wants. It would be hard for even me, Arnold the Ambush Buck, to sneak up on a cricket. That's because they all have two feelers called Cersei in back so they can feel you coming. Now that I'm an ambush bug, it seems that I can scare the daylights out of insects twice my size. I could get used to this. If you want to get the bug on... Wanda here. Now that the dragonfly's back, we've got a full count in our terrarium. Thanks, you're a real pal. It's a fine and dandy day because it's time to give away our Master Bug Inspector Certificate. One bug down and three to go. Choose a place to click. That'll do the trick. I'm all for the forest. Let's burn some rubber. Does the forest have a lot of bugs that bite? Only when they're hungry, Arnold. I knew I should have brought some extra lunch. Welcome to the fabulous forest where bugs bounce about in the sun and shade. Grab a net and you've got it made. Like my old coach always said, let's take it outside. The Red Admiral belongs to a group called the Brush-Footed Butterflies because its front legs are like little brushes. I tried to get close to one of them, but it gave me the brush off. If you're looking for a bug that needs its front wings harden into a shell to protect the other wings that fly so well. This beetle can tell when you are near. Its antennae look just like rabbit ears. Look for a bug whose name is a lie because it really hatches in the month of July. The June bug has front wings that harden into a shell and protects the delicate wings that it uses to fly. When it's in the air, the June bug holds the shell up and away. Up, up, and away! They've come out swinging, and on the left side of the branch, we have Dangerous Dan the Stag Beetle. Look how he's put the loft on the intruder. Down he goes. Yes, he's out for the count. I wonder what my friends will say when I tell them I morphed into a Luna Moth. They'll probably think I'm a Luna Tick. Just before it becomes a moth, the Polyphemus caterpillar lives inside a beautiful silken cocoon. That about wraps it up. If you ever get the feeling you're being watched like a hawk, it just might be the robber fly. When he sees something he likes, he'll take off after it and then zap. That nest under the ground used to belong to a mouse. Now it's the winter home of the Queen Bumblebee. 
She seemed happy there, but you'd think royalty could afford something better. What's that sound? It's the cicadas. They make that sound by vibrating a part of their body that's like a drum. Don't they ever take a break? I mean, they just go on and on and on. That snowy tree cricket is rubbing its wings together to make music. It's like she's playing the violin. One wing is a bow and the other is like a string. How come some scarab beetles are called June bugs, even though they hatch in the month of July? I don't know, Phoebe. In June, they're still underground, inside their pupa, waiting to hatch. You've got to be very patient if you're a dome-weaving spider waiting for a meal to come by. But patience is usually rewarded. At the beginning of spring, the morning cloak butterfly comes out of hibernation to sip the sap dripping from the trees. And how delightfully delicious sipping sap really is. When spring's in the air, there's food everywhere. Some bugs you see will be more clear when you use this. June bugs are real vegetarians. This June bug looks like she's really happy to see me. Thanks for returning her. Hurrah for the forest! It's where bugs galore live up in the trees and down on the floor. Stand tall and get ready to receive your daring detective diploma. You stand out from the crowd. You should be proud. You found two of the missing bugs. It's up to you. Where to? The jungle's just divine. Go for it! What can you tell us about the jungle, Miss Rizzle? Now that's an interesting tropic of conversation. Welcome to the jungle, a lush and luxurious home for bugs who like tropical temperatures. Time to get out and walk about. Search for this one on the jungle floor. It has a wavy walk. Should I tell you more? Don't get any closer than an inch. There are jaws that bite and legs that pinch. With so many legs, it's easy to see there's no way that this critter a real insect could be. Let's see. Insects have six legs, spiders have eight legs, and centipedes have up to 354 legs. Enough legs for all of them. So I... The dung beetle. Now there's an insect you don't want to get next to. The fact is, Arnold, that the dung beetle helps to keep the earth clean by eating animal droppings and using them to lay eggs in. Baby! That bird had a good scare when the owl butterfly flashed its eye spot. Those enormous eyes look like they belong to a fierce predator like me. Not a helpless butterfly. Wow, isn't that beautiful? That Morpho butterfly sparkles with color. You can see that blue shining from nearly a mile away. So, if I got lost in the jungle, I could send out a butterfly beacon? Bet your books, Arnold. When the sunshine glimmers, then the Morpho shimmers. Cockroaches avoid light. If you turn on the light, they scatter. Check out the long antennae on this longhorned beetle. Some longhorned beetles have antennae that are five times as long as their body. Even Hercules can't compete with that. I wouldn't want to play tag with a walking stick. They're too hard to see. That's why they can sit right next to a hungry lizard and never get caught. Click beetles aren't easy to catch. They're the acrobats of the insect world. They can flip themselves into the air. With an act like that, they could be in show business. Assassin bugs are blood suckers. Some attack other bugs, and some go after mammals, including people. How gruesome. And I'm talking about their nice side. Bird-eating spiders go hunting in the trees at night. They can catch small birds, 
lizards, and even snakes. It's great being a fantastically strong Hercules beetle. If anybody challenges me, I lock my spiny horns around him and flip him over. Just like flipping a pancake, right, Ralphie? Yeah, pass me the syrup. Here in the jungle, there's so much in store that you can explore. It bites on one end and pinches on the other, but I'm glad you brought it back. Now I can keep an eye on it. Excellent detective work. You're a bodacious bug bagger. You found three of the missing bugs. One more to go. Your click is my command. Freshwater pond. Here we come. Hold on, bus. Here we come. What did the river say to the pond? What, Carlos? You're all wet. Welcome to the freshwater pond, where you can get wet while you're going wild. This place is just buzzing with bugs. It's been a wild ride. Now let's see what's outside. Here's your chance to find a... There are some that fly and some that float. This one is rowing an upside-down boat. He looks like a boat and moves so fast, whatever he's hunting won't get past. This last clue will get you on track. You're looking for someone who swims on his back. It's odd but true that the back swimmer swims upside down using its fuzzy hind legs as oar. My research has revealed that this giant water bug can actually kill and eat a fish. It helps when you have a sharp, pointed beak and hooks on your front legs to hold the fish still. That. This diving beetle has a nifty way of swimming underwater. He carries a bubble under his wings that lasts for 48 hours. This bug is called a water scorpion because it has a long tail like a real scorpion. But the water scorpion uses its tail for breathing, not for stinging. You've got to be fast on the draw to catch the way this dragonfly moves. Just look how it hovers in the air, like a helicopter. Fishing spiders could sit for hours on a lily pad, waiting for just the right food to swim by. Amazing! A spider that's willing to sit still for its portrait. Becoming a mosquito is no easy job. First, the mom lays her eggs on the surface of the water. Then the eggs turn into larvae. The larvae turn into pupas and the pupas turn into mosquitoes. And I thought it was hard turning in my homework. With their four eyes, whirligig beetles can see below and above the water at the same time. I guess they don't miss much. Good observation, Wanda. Like my Uncle Citrus used to say, keep your eyes peeled or you'll end up as a meal. See that underwater caterpillar with an extra long tail? It's really a rat-tailed maggot. It uses its tail as a breathing tube. Side swimmers like to eat leftovers that fall to the floor of the pond. My dog Zoomer likes leftovers that fall to the floor of the kitchen. There are 40,000 species of spiders in the world, but the diving bell spider is the only one that hunts, mates, and builds a nest, all inside an underwater diving bell. Springtails have a special way to escape danger. They have a tail spur that's folded against their belly. When they release it, it springs free and shoots them high into the air. Up it springs and down it goes. And where it stops, nobody knows. When the sun sets, male mayflies swarm out of the water and try to attract females by dancing over the pond. Those mayfly dancers are real romancers. Wahoo! This pond is full of fantastic bugs. Look at that water strider go. No wonder they're called pond skaters. Does anyone know the difference between a dragonfly and a damselfly? Dragonflies breathe fire and damselflies don't. 
The damselfly folds its wings over its abdomen when it's resting, and the dragonfly holds its wings straight out. Baby mayflies are called nymphs, and being a mayfly nymph just may be the strangest thing that's ever happened to me. Ooh, just in time. We were really getting worried about getting this back swimmer back. Hooray! You've returned all four missing bugs to their terrariums. You're a super sleuth, and we salute you with this awesome achievement award. All four of the bugs are present and accounted for. But if you'd like, you can start a new game and find four new bugs. What do you say? No? Well, don't let that stop your exploration and investigation. There's still a world of bugs out there. Are you ready to quit? See you back on the bus another time.